It used to be that if you're applying to elite schools or just wanted to show off your skills in a subject outside the three R's, you had to take the SAT2 subject tests. Well, no longer. As of this year, the SAT2s aren't even being offered. Why did this happen? Should you wait for the SAT3s? And how can you show off your knowledge of a subject like world history now? Hi, I'm Yash and welcome back to College Find. <music> Today we'll be going over the cancellation of the SAT2s and what that means for you. First up, the major changes. As of January 2021, SAT subject tests are no longer being offered to domestic students and the last test for international students will take place this summer. The College Board's reason? According to them, subject tests no longer offer the same value they once did since AP exams are now more widely available and cover a greater range of subjects. Eliminating the subject tests will also open up seats to students who need to take the SAT and haven't had the chance to do so during the pandemic. Colleges that used to require SAT subject tests will now have to decide how to adjust their policy going forward. So that's it, right? Well, not exactly. You see, for the College Board, this move is also about money. For one thing, the College Board charges around $30 per SAT subject test versus $95 per AP exam. By not having to administer the SAT2s and instead redirecting students to AP exams, the College Board can increase their revenue while decreasing costs. They will also no longer have to worry about the logistics of administering more tests. Moreover, SAT subject tests were already on the decline. The number of test takers peaked at 300,000 students in 2011, but in recent years has dropped to just 200,000 students. Most universities have eliminated subject test requirements, either making the subject tests optional or not considering scores at all. Overall, subject tests have played less and less of a role in the admissions every year except at the 50 to 60 most selective colleges in the country. This new policy is gonna have a major effect on the 2021 to 2022 admission cycle. Most universities went test optional or test blind last year due to the pandemic, meaning they would not require any standardized test scores in their applications, and some wouldn't even look at them if they were submitted. Given this announcement from the College Board, our projection is that most schools will take a similar approach to all subject test scores moving forward. Unfortunately, if you already have strong subject test scores, this means you probably won't receive much of a boost from them. However, while schools themselves typically don't require subject test scores, many special programs such as BSMD and Honors Colleges do. If you're interested in these types of programs, you'll need to keep close track of their specific policies. Some programs might ask for AP scores or minimum grades in special courses as a substitute for the subject tests. Either way, you should consider reaching out to the program to see where they're at in terms of considering subject test scores. If you're homeschooled or attend a school that doesn't offer AP classes, the lack of subject tests could negatively affect your application. Subject tests traditionally provide a standardized metric that helps admissions officers compare students from these backgrounds to the larger applicant pool. But with this method gone, it'll be harder for applicants in these situations to easily be sized up in the admissions process. Instead, with this new policy, ST scores and essays will now all play a slightly bigger role in the admissions process. AP exams, meanwhile, will now fulfill SAT2's old job of showcasing achievements in specific subjects. And lastly, this change may put you at a disadvantage if you're planning to rely on subject tests to demonstrate ability in a specific field. In the past, you could get away with using subject tests to make up for poor grades in a course or lack of extracurriculars related to your major. But now that the subject test advantage is gone, you'll have to compensate in other areas of your application. If you're a future college applicant, know that we are in unprecedented times and these policy changes are probably the first of many to come. As you craft your admissions profile, it is important to stay informed about any changes and consider how they might impact you. That's why you should visit collegevine.com for all your admissions related needs, such as our customized chancing engine, where you can see how you stack up in light of these recent changes. You can also check out our blogs and live streams, where we're constantly working to demystify the admissions process. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe below so you can keep up to date with all of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.